Once upon a time in a busy city, there was a young boy named Koji. He was like any other modern boy, dealing with the challenges and distractions of the digital age. One of the troubles he faced was a habit of excessive masturbation which troubled his mind and spirit. He knew deep down that this habit didn't align with his values and aspirations, and he longed for peace, clarity, and a sense of purpose. One day, while walking through the city, he came across a small and peaceful Zen garden. Curious, he entered and saw an old Zen master named Hoshi sitting under a cherry blossom tree. The master's serene presence caught Koji's attention, and he decided to seek his guidance. Respectfully, Koji asked Master Hoshi for help, explaining his struggle with the consuming habit of masturbation. He expressed how challenging it was for him to quit. Master Hoshi smiled warmly and invited Koji to sit beside him. He told him that the path to overcoming any habit lies within oneself. To conquer this challenge, Koji needed to cultivate self-awareness and inner strength. The master then shared a Zen story about a young fisherman named Takeo from a distant village. Takeo had a habit of smoking a pipe while fishing, thinking it helped his concentration and skill. However, the smoke often distracted him from noticing the fish beneath the water's surface. One day, a wise old fisherman visited the village and advised Takeo to let go of the pipe. The old fisherman explained that true mastery didn't come from external crutches, but from being fully present and attentive to the world around him. Takeo took the advice to heart and stopped using the pipe. With time and practice, he became a master fisherman, surpassing his previous skill level. Master Hoshi paused to let the story sink in for Koji. He emphasized that, like Takeo's pipe, excessive masturbation was a crutch that hindered Koji's true potential. By letting go of this habit, Koji could rediscover his innate clarity and purpose. Feeling hopeful, Koji realized that quitting the habit wasn't about guilt or repression, but about living a more authentic life. Under Master Hoshi's guidance, he embarked on a journey of self-discovery and self-discipline. He redirected his energy towards activities that nurtured his mind, body and spirit, such as new hobbies, spending time in nature, and practicing mindfulness. With each passing day, Koji noticed a profound transformation within himself. The grip of the habit loosened, and he felt a growing sense of inner peace and fulfillment. He was grateful to Master Hoshi for his wisdom and guidance, but the Master reminded him that the credit lay within himself for having the courage to face his challenges and seek a better way of living. Koji continued on the path of self-discovery, drawing strength from Master Hoshi's teachings and the lessons he learned along the way. His inner peace grew stronger, and his purpose became clearer. This story of Koji reminds us that breaking free from any habit requires self-awareness, discipline, and a desire for personal growth. By embracing the present moment, nurturing our minds and bodies, and seeking guidance from wise mentors, we can transcend our limitations and embark on a journey of self-mastery. May we all find the courage to confront our own challenges, let go of what no longer serves us, and discover the infinite potential that lies within us. I hope you enjoy watching this cool story video, and if you have something on your mind, don't hesitate to share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our Inspira channel and click the bell to join our notification squad. Thanks for watching.